know this property is protected by video surveillance. They're watching you. <laughs> I figured I might as well be here if I've got the L tracks roaring over me, so I might have to stop if a train comes running over me since they won't let me film on the train. This is a longer piece. It's called Carbon. Actually, that's number six. magazine ads and the TV commercials and I was taught that what it was what I was taught was that a, a big busted blonde was all I could aspire to be so I would dye my hair so I could act the dumb blonde I could still beat them at any mind games but but men don't like to hear the truth and have it shoved down their faces because they refuse to believe anything that doesn't stroke their ego so yeah, I was a carbon copy of what the media shoved down America's throats. And yeah, as time went on, the dark-haired women started to gain a little popularity back, but they still had to be anorexically thin, and they still had to battle the notion of all men still adoring the dumb blonde. And yeah, as the years wore on, I didn't have to dye my hair, but I still had to be thin. And I still had to be a carbon copy of that dark-haired, gaunt, soulless face that was always plastered on billboards, papers, and screens. I passed the magazine stands, see carbon copies of the models on multiple magazine covers. I passed the media store with rows and stacks of repeated TV screens showing carbon copies to the world of what we're supposed to be. I don't want to be a carbon copy of anything. I want my own thoughts, my own ideas. I don't want to spill them out for the entire world to read and hear. But carbon copy or not, I end up resigned knowing that despite our differences, we are all carbon-based life forms. I mean, when scientists look for life on other planets, they always only look for water first. Well, sure, hydrogen, oxygen, life as we know it needs it, I, I get it. But carbon-based life forms are all we know. I mean, whether or not they have arms or legs or gills or a mouth or, or a brain, they all have carbon in common. So when I see the atrocities mankind causes, when I see Adolf Hitler, the vegetarian artist wannabe, when I see Adolf Hitler collecting the cult followers to systematically slaughter millions, when I see the stacks of skin and bone emaciation, stacks of bodies in ditches or in rooms stacked in a pyramid with a small hole for air in the ceiling after their final shower. When I see the Pope visit Cuba and wear a sombrero. When I see chickens crammed into rows of cages they cannot move in for their eggs for their flesh. And when I see rows of repackaged, barely recognizable cow flesh wrapped in cellophane, row after row in the grocery store. nothing else. We are all carbon-based life forms.